Praise the Lord, and welcome to Life Point Devotion. This week we'll be continuing our series, A Blessed and Privileged People. More specifically, we're going to be looking at Lesson 1.2, entitled, Our Position in Christ. We're going to be focusing on the thought throughout this week, strangers, heirs, and citizens in the kingdom of God. Do we want to be strangers to God, or do we want to be heirs to his kingdom? Are you a stranger to God, or are you an heir? We're going to look at a few scriptures this morning to lay a foundation for the week. We're going to be turning to the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, and verses 12, and verse number 13. That at that time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope, and without God in this world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who sometimes were afar off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Ephesians 2 and 19. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Ephesians 3 and verse number 6. That the Gentiles should be fellow heirs and of the same body and partakers of his promise and Christ by the gospel. Ephesians 2 verses 1 through 6 tells us, And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins. For in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also all of us had our conversation in times past, in the lust of our own flesh, we fulfill the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and it was our nature to be wrath even as others. Verse 4, I love. But God, let me say that again. But God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ. It's by his grace that we are saved. And hath raised us up together and made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your word that we can depend upon today. Strangers, heirs, citizens of the kingdom of God, and his unsearchable riches and promises. How awesome we can all be partakers of the unsearchable riches of Christ. A biblical account tells us of a woman named Rahab. She lived in a city called Jericho, a city that God had promised to Joshua and to the children of Israel. Rahab was a stranger to them. She was a stranger to the people of God, and she was a stranger to God. When the king of Jericho heard that two spies had come into his city, he searched to kill them. But Rahab, a foreigner to them, sought to save her life. She said to the two spies, I've heard of your God. Stories how he brought plagues on Egypt to save you, and how he divided and made a path through the Red Sea and laid waste to the enemies that followed you. I know your God will give you Jericho. Spare me and my family when he does. And upon their promise to do so, and by faith, she let them out and down through a window with a cord. That scarlet cord became her hope and salvation for her and her family. Hope of a new citizenship, hope to the saving of her family, and a hope to become heir to the promises and to the riches of God. Won't you join us this week as we pursue strangers, heirs, and citizens? It's going to be an exciting journey. God bless you. Why don't you expect a miracle today because you are an heir to the promises of God? See you tomorrow.